English conversation about jobs. I need a job. I thought you had a job. I did. What happened? I got laid off. That's terrible. When did it happen? I got laid off last week. Just you? No, ten of my coworkers got laid off too. What are you going to do? I'm looking in the newspaper for a job. Good luck. Before you go to that interview, check yourself. What's to check? Are your nails clean? Yes, they are. Did you double check your nose and teeth? They are clean too. Did you shine your shoes? My shoes are shined. Do your socks match? Of course, they match. No, they don't. One is black and one is dark blue. Yikes! Thank you. Life is hard. It sure is. I thought school was hard. Me too. I couldn't wait to graduate. But now work is hard too. I agree. Work is just as hard as school. Sometimes I wish I was back in school. Me too. The school was fun. And it was only twelve years. It went by pretty fast. But work goes on forever. We have to work for thirty years. I'm sleepy. So am I. I had a long day. So did I. I didn't even have lunch. Neither did I. I was busy the whole day. So was I. I had to bring work home with me. I did too. Your day was just like mine. Of course, it was. We worked together. I don't like my job. What do you do? I'm a babysitter. Is that a lot of work? Babies cry all the time. You have to change their diapers. I have to feed them. Are you looking for another job? No, I'm looking for another family. Another family? A family with only one baby. That's a good idea. I need a job. What was your last job? I was a painter. What happened? I got laid off because there was no work. What else can you do? I'm a handyman. Can you fix a dripping faucet in a kitchen sink? Of course. Then I have a job for you in my kitchen. It will cost you only twenty dollar plus parts. Okay, that sounds like a fair price. What would you do if you lost your job? I have no idea. I've been here for twenty years. Do you have any other skills? Well, I know how to flip hamburgers. No one would hire you to flip hamburgers. Have you heard something that you're not telling me? What do you mean? Are there going to be layoffs at this place? I certainly hope not. If you got laid off, you'd be flipping hamburgers too. Oh, great! We could both work at Burger King. Maybe we'd get laid off there too. Do your students ever talk about their jobs? Yes. 
and they ask me what jobs are the best. I tell my students to become a teacher. Teaching is a great job. It's the best job I've ever had. What makes it so good? For me, it's the students. What do you mean? I mean I have wonderful students. That must be nice. Teaching is the best part of my whole day. You're a lucky man to have a job you love. Boy, I'm glad that job is finished. How long did it take? For hours, without a break. It's always nice to finish a job. Well, it's good and bad. What's bad about it? When you finish, all you do is start another job. Yes, that's right. It does get boring. Especially if it's the same work over and over. But that's what most people do. Yes, I guess most of us are stuck in a routine. I wonder if there is any job that you don't repeat over and over. I think I have the worst boss in the world. What makes him so bad? He's rude and he yells a lot. That's hard to take. I've never heard him say please or thank you. He sounds like a real jerk. No one at work likes him. Can't you report him to his supervisor? Of course not. If I do that, I'll lose my job. Yes, they don't like troublemakers or complainers. I can't quit because I'm making a good salary. You shouldn't choose money over happiness. What are we going to do? About what? About finding a job for me. You don't need a job. I make enough money for both of us. That doesn't matter. I don't want to sit around. Okay. What kind of job do you want? I'm not sure. Well, you should do something that you enjoy. I enjoy selling. I was born to sell. Okay. What do you want to sell? Cigarette lighters. I'll make a fortune. But you hate cigarettes and you hate smoking. A new hotel is looking for workers. Yes, I saw it on the TV news. They need three hundred new workers. And four thousand people showed up. So many people are out of work. I still have my job, thank goodness. So do I, but I'm worried. Me too. There are no guarantees. If you lose your job, you can move in with me. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. You would do the same for me. Of course. What are friends for? I think I did something really stupid. What did you do? I bought some stock. Everybody buys the stock. I bought it on a hunch. You didn't read about the company first. I didn't have to. It's been in business for sixty years. So what's the problem? I used all my savings on this one company. You put all your eggs into one basket. If the company goes out of business, I'll have nothing. Oh, you'll have something. You'll have a lesson you'll never forget. I was going to be a doc. What happened to your plans? 
I got a D in college chemistry. Well, a D is better than an F. A tutor helped me get the D. So, you didn't become a doctor. And now I'm glad that I didn't. Why is that? A hospital is the most dangerous place in the world. Oh, yes, because of all the killer germs. If you're a smart doctor, you stay away from hospitals. Yes, the smart doctors are those TV news doctors. No hospitals, no patients. I want to be a mail carrier when I grow up. Why? Because you get to meet a lot of people. You sure do. And you get a lot of exercise every day. That's the truth. And you get to play with a lot of dogs. Well, you're supposed to be working. Yes, but I will always be pet-friendly dogs. What about the unfriendly dogs? I think if you are friendly to dogs, they are friendly to you. Dogs are like people, not all of them are friendly. I want to move to New York. To the state or the city? To the city, of course. Why do you want to move there? Because I want to make a lot of money. There are a lot of poor people in New York. There sure are at least a million. So how do you plan to become rich? I will knock on the doors of all the corporations. That won't make you rich. Nobody will talk to you. I will keep knocking on doors. All you will get is sore knuckles.